Flintstones. 1960, Season 1, Episode 12, The Sweepstakes Tickets. Here's the ticket, safe and sound. Don't very fret for getting nervous after what happened. Bonnie, what in the world are you doing on that stool? Stool? Yeah, I saw a mouse. Hiya, Joe. Hiya, Bonnie. Hello, Miss Roxy. How's Junior? Just fine, Mr. Rubble. Cute little pup you got there. Reverend told me to take this one. Looks like a winner, Flintstone. Fred, what are you doing? Hiya, Barney. Just, you just in time. In what? Time for what, Fred? In time to buy a sweepstake ticket from Charlie. You're lucky. I got one left. I'll take it. Well, you lend me the price of the ticket? I'm kind of short this week. Me too. I had enough for one, my own ticket. Johnny, could you wait till next week for the money? Sorry, man. No money, no ticket. Don't sell on credit. Tough luck, Bonnie. Am I won a fortune, yeah. You know, I'm pretty lucky that way. Remember when I won that set of dishes? Car raffle? Yeah. Remember you, what, you dropped them, uh, them all as soon as you left the club? Was that lucky? Should have dropped them after I got home. Very funny. Anyway, I hope you win, Fred. You deserve it. Couldn't be having a nicer guy. Always said Fred is the salt of the earth. Jonas kind and selfish. Freddy gives a shirt off his back. Yep. It couldn't happen to a nicer, unselfish friend. Can you beat that? What a sweet little guy. That Barney's a real pal. You bet your life is a real pal. You know what you are? A snook. Snook. A snook? Yes, a snook. You're right. So you don't have the money. But you could have, so you could have offered to split your ticket with him. Yeah. What would I do? I split him a tip. That's what I'd do. I'd split it with him. What's the matter, you nuts? You're going to give away half your winning? Don't be a sucker, winnings. What are the winnings? Without friends. Misery can't buy your happiness. Rich man is sad, man. Take my wealth. Just let me share a crust of bread with a true friend, and that's all I ask. How sneakily can you get? Yeah, I'm sorry, Barney. I can be I can get be a sweet guy, too. Barney? Oh, Fred. You're going to let me buy half a ticket? You're going to let me? Let me? How about it? How do you know that? I figured you would let you know, being such a swell guy, let me see your ticket. I'll take it, Fred. Okay, we're, we're in for a half, Bonnie. Your ticket's got a lucky number. Yeah, what is it? Two, seven, three, four, nine, oh, eight, one, one, seven, five, three, three, two, nine, oh, nine, eight, one, oh, oh, series H. This is your lucky number, yep. Isn't it a coincidence, mercy you me? Can't s- see how. We could lose. Lucky number? Let me have that ticket. No, Fred, I'd better hold it. My lucky number, you might jinx it. Jinx? You're good. You don't let me have that ticket. Now I, you, now give it to me. But we, Fred, Wilma will have it. Why it? You know what happened last year? Yeah, she started changing things all over town. Charging things all over town. Right? For six months trying to pay it off, remember? Besides, I have a perfect hunting place for it. Yeah, where? I, I, can't, I can't tell you, Fred. You're talking in your sleep, Wilma. You'll find out, and she'll tell Barry. You'll both run down the store, you didn't charge it. Okay, Barney, let it be your right. You're behind it. See you right, Fred. See you later. Good luck, partner. You know, sometimes I wish I wasn't such a sweet guy. What a heck. Good pay is good. Hey, Wilma, I'm home. What are you up to, Fred? Give me something for me. I know you, Fred Finstone. I've got something secret going on. Now, what is it? Walk to the corner, turn and walk back. What's so cloak and dagger about that? What kind of secret could I have get from here to get from here to Swelch Degas? Sexy. Don't know, Fred, but something's going on. Guilt's written all over your face, boy. How do you do, they do it? You must have x ray eyes. Read the guy's mind right through his skull. Guilt's written all over your face. What imagination? Don't believe it. I'll hide the ticket in the lining of his old, his old suit. Betty will never find it. I haven't worn it in years. Hello, Betty. Let's go around, Barney. What are you up to? Up to? We're up to you funny. I'm straightening up my closet. What's funny about that? Straighten up your closet. Funny thing I heard today. I was straightening up that goat's nest since we moved here. Look at it. Old golf clubs, water skis, crack, work, bowling ball, finished. Polishing pile, painted balls, and all those odd clothes. Good mind for it. All before the bell of horse. Health quarantines us. Now, wait a minute. Here's my, that's my closet. The stuff might come in handy someday. It might, we'll sure will when we open the junkyard. 
Don't get it. Go this cause it fails at times, no betting. I am hide something that what something once. It once and when most she, there she is. When Okai puts a wedding ring on his wife's finger, turns it on a radar that reads a guy's mind. No matter where they no wonder they never take the wedding rings off. But you cut her high woman in the kitchen. Red Bonnie, I think he went off to your your house to see Fred. Did you get the ticket? Yeah, it's here. Here's you believe me, we were lucky. Is it last week but the sweep state took in town? There you have it, woman. How did it before we Barney and Fred get his little hands on it? How do you hide it? How about hiding yourself and no? Sometimes Barney takes a nap on there. Got a better place. I'll oh, put it in this old coffee pot. Doesn't even know where the, the shelf there. There loves the pot of coffee, coffee up. Now, now remember, Wilma, not a word to this to the boys. Don't worry, I know those two. They knew we had a sweet steak for it. First they do rush to the store and buy your things, sights and things. A new rolling ball, sports car, something ridiculous. Right, something simple. Not not right, nothing sensible like a new road, wardrobe for us. Say, speaking about wardrobes, all the stores are having summer sale today on the new full clothes. Our ticket might win. I was thinking the same thing. What are we waiting for? Charge it. Expect any company, Betty? I'll go see who it is. Where's, what is it? Pardon me, I mean, a young lady. My hobby's collecting handouts. Old clothes, bottles, money, small change. Everything you wish to dispose of? Wait a minute, I see. Who is it, Betty? Some poor old fellow, Danny Luck. Seeing that Barney's got in the closet of his. It's all to do. But he's worn his thing for years. He'll never miss it. Thank you, lady. The generous service. Appreciate it. Hey, Betty. You did your good deal for the day. Now let's do something nice for ourselves. I'm with you. Charge it, Barney. When your tickets win, you go big, do big things, Barney. And now, how we treat the Barney to a free game. Yeah, we have a pizza spread, pie spread for the whole game. Look, Fred. There's Wilma and Betty. Wonder what they're doing. Charge it. Does that answer your question? Betty has found another sweet ticket. Name sweet state ticket. Puzzle, Fred. Tickets hidden where nobody can find it. Absolutely nobody. What's the matter, Barney? You sick or something? Not green, Fred. Excuse me, Fred. I'm going to be right back. Got to check up on something. No, I'll him, Fred. Oh, God, he just passed by. He's our sweet, it's our sweet state. Sweet Jack state. Check it in the bucket. You stop, but come back, come back there. Yeah, that's my jacket, you knuckerhead. Take his head in the note. We don't want to find it. Hold it, mister. Okay, pop off the coat. Turn back or clobber you with this cane. Where do you get that coat? Make one false move and I beat the tattoo on your noggin. Okay, you keep the coat, pop. All we want is a ticket. There's a one-way ticket to Lumpsville. Take that and that. Help, please, hold him. Then I'll take, well, I'll take coat off. Two against one, I've seen enough, let's go. I've only fed a woman, you'll study judo. Let's pop. All we want is a ticket. Yeah, you can have to go. Put that old man down. You get us first. Not like that he looks so I said he never is. Oh, uh, this is you. It's you, Fred. You're looking all over town for you. Where are you? Are you? Police station. Yeah, and Betty is with me. I need to get hold of Barnet. Betty, let her come down right here so you can clear out the whole thing. Search me, Betty. All I know is that uh, you know, in on uh, oh, 803, you can clear it up. So free, a second old man for his own cane. Even Perry Masonry couldn't clear that up. That's that, that's the way. Uh, that's what it happens, sir. But he doesn't. He doesn't know. Giving his coat to that nice man. Oh man. Okay, lady, you'll get let him go. Let's get this. They be less of you. Man's closet should be secret. Well, it looks like junk to one wife. Made this great sentimental value to husband. Last year, my wife wore a pair of sneakers. And for sixteen years, but for children's sake, we made it back together again. Ah, oh, release the prisoners. Man, you they stuck short of stick together. Barney, didn't get a chance to ask you on the way home. Did you get to get the coat? For the coppers took us in, I'm sure the apartment. Good. Bring it over to my house. Take care of it from now on. It's necessary, Fred. I've got it hidden. And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, that's what you said before and well, only bad you almost find it gave it away. Don't worry, Putney. You won't find it this time. Trust me. But you never think of looking at an old cookie jar. Two of this. I better check it make sure. Here's a ticket. Safe and sound. I don't blame Fred for getting nervous. That's what happened. Barney, what in the world are you doing up in the store? You saw? Yeah, I saw a mouse. Get down from there and stop your nonsense. Dinner's ready. Okay, dear. I wonder. 
It's here, right? For a minute, thought we'd found our ticket. Take stones, wake up. Hey, sir, sucker. Sucker, you buy a sweet steak ticket. You haven't seen, seen higher or higher of it since. My book that makes you sucker. And then dawning you that your partner, Bonnie, might have some gimmick going where he'd cop you all the dough. Don't you listen to Bonnie. Oh, you know, Bonnie is honest and trustworthy. You might not have dignity. Dignity? She will make a thing. That's out there, out, out to money. Where well, that's out where your money's concerned. As far as you're concerned, you know out too. Now listen before that goody goody guy comes back. You want to hold that ticket for a while, don't you? To protect your interest, lay back. Betty and Barney is asleep. Go sneak over there to get in. Sneak over and get in. Don't suppose you they see me? How could I explain that? Easy. You may make it believe in smoking in in your sleep. Caprice? Yeah, Caprice. <clears throat> I should be the one. I should be one to hold it anyway while you're talking. I hope she doesn't wake up, Fred. Quick, stupid, stop. Quick, stupid, into your sleepwalking neck. Yeah. No, you're not sleeping that. Not that sleepwalking neck again. Every time he goes on diet, he does the same routine, just think a snack. Why fight it? Good night, Fred. Good night, Vilma. It's worked. Now hurry up, get the ladder out of the scurry and get going. What's the matter? I feel like a big fat quilt, but it's not that. that so, so you're fat. Do you mean you're dishonest? Oh, well, you're stealing what's yours in the first place. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going already. Hate to do this, but it's for your own, your own good. Can't you do anything wrong yet, right? What happened? Somebody pushed a dagger. Yeah, I know who. Wait here. It's Mel me. Oh, my scam. Okay, the close is clear. No, Frederick, don't do it. I set you on one, one foot in the house. So you'll be sorry. Don't listen to him. You know, good guys never win. If you know what's good for you, you blow. Yeah, like you said, blow. At a boy, bet your conscience be your guy. A bad conscience, get it? Yeah. Good. They'll, they'll sleep, still sleep. Now, well, you would a guy like Bonnie keep sweepstakes. Take it, let's see. Look under his pillow first. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Close your big bloodshot eyes. Go to sleep. Good night, mummy. Mummy? Isn't it a kick in the head? Good night, son. I tell mummy where you hid a sleep stakes ticket. In the kitchen up by the shelf, by the stove. Now kiss little Barney good night, mummy. Okay, son, here's a kiss for you. You must have meant that, that old coffee pot. I will look at it in there first, the hot dog. I found it. Say for me, Barney. Barney, will you thank me for it when we win? Wilma? Hey, Verdi, what's up? Going to announce the sweet stuff when I'm on the radio. Come on over. I bet with it. I might be right there, Betty. Boy, we can't lose. All I got to say is it's a lucky number. You're the lucky number. You can't lose. You're the lucky number, etc., etc. That number. I have a, What's the matter with him? Don't know. Where it is, he doesn't like it. Let's get what well, well, ticket and better. I fed better. It's gone. Our ticket's gone. Gone. Do you think it was Barney? Don't think it. Think it. I'm sure of it. Okay, Betty. Isn't the sweet sweet ticket Barney Rubble? Where do you get that ticket? What difference does it make when it? We split it. You get the share. We get a whole share. What nerve? Hold it, girls. Here comes the announcement. Here's the winning number. The sweet steak, folks. The number is two seven three four nine oh eight one one seven five three three two nine oh nine eight one zero 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 x zero x. You didn't win, Barney. We won't hit it. We won. We got a winning ticket. We were right. It was our lucky number. Congratulations, those skills. Barney and I just won sweet steaks, but Fred, where did you get the ticket? Where did I get it? Just where you hit it, Barney. Right under the t- t- coffee pot. Shelf above the stove. Coffee pot. Why, that's our ticket. There were just, there were two tickets. Oh, thanks, Barney. I just wanted to make sure it's safe. Reminds me, well, my, my pal Barney and I were going to run dances around here. We don't want to see you girls run off when you are spending big spending for you. All right, partner. And here's the big news about Sweet State winner, folks. Two local people were living right here in Bedrock. Share the winning ticket. That's us, Bonnie Pound. Precious is the Miss Fred Stone and Miss Barney Wagon. Miss, what are you talking about? It must be made some mistake. Yeah, Fred, you got, you made it. You took the wrong ticket. Thanks some meddling on our ticket. We'll see you later, boys. Yeah, much later. Charge it, Fred. Yeah, Bonnie. Why well, yeah, made you do such a thing, Fred? Some guys gave a, a bum steer. I never listen to him again. Never? Hey, how are you again? Yeah, listen. 
Why don't you go downtown and get this new rolling ball? Well, when we spend all the dough, Barney, how about you getting a new fishing pole before Barney get one set of loot? Friend, I just thought of a good idea. Say no more, Barney. I just got the same idea. Let's go. Charge it. Come on, Wilma. Open this door. 